I'm getting older, which I'm fine with, but I'm feeling the effects of getting older. I am not fine with that. Uh, I'm at the age now that my arms get tired during sex. So I'm not playing on that at all. The other night, my arms are so weak and shaky, I barely had the strength to give the guy a reach around. He said it was the worst 50 bucks he's ever spent. And I say to give it to people. I'm just kidding. I am straight. I have heterosexual sex. Gay guys uh, think I'm homosexual, though. You know what I know? Because there's always at least one or two messages from them in my inbox every single time I log in my Grindr account. It never fails. These gays are very persistent and persuasive. Hashtag fool me three times. Just say. Just say. My kid, again, I'm straight. Jesus Christ. Uh, I am on dating sites, I'm on Tinder, Match, and all that stuff. Uh, buddies of mine always give me shit about just dating white chicks from those sites. Like, that's all that I like. It's not all that I like. I like all women. I'm just playing the fucking odds, bro. Blacks only make up about 3% of the people on those sites. But then that 3%, the odds even lower be finding someone that's into the weird shit that I'm into. It's funny, no matter how woke or sexually adventurous they think to be, most black chicks are not into being choked and called white bitch. It's, it's crazy. Something I like to call a little light OJ Nicole role play. Nobody? You know what? You want to know another reason why I play the odds? Because the last black chick I dated from those sites turned out to be my cousin. How does that mean the sex? Just kidding. <laughs> that was the first relationship that ever ended with both parties agreeing to remain just family. <laughs> Big fan of the odds. That's why I still go to glory holes. Odds are there's bound to be a woman back there one of these times. Men's room or not. I mean, that's just simple math. I gotta get off those sites anyway. I saw an article that said uh, over the past year, the amount of time we spent on the internet and social media, we could have read over 200 books. That's a lot of books. And I'm all for books, but uh, you can't use a book to stalk your ex. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> besides, what book is gonna constantly remind me that there are hot young guys in my area that are ready to fuck? <laughs> Curse you, target marketing! <laughs> Click on one international mail in it. I saw my ex the other night with her new guy. She hasn't seen me since the breakup. I was gonna say something, but you know how women are. As soon as I went to open my mouth, I guarantee you she'd have been all freaked out I was hiding in her closet. <laughs> Give me back my house key. Blah, 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 ugh. Women, am I right, fellas? Can't live without them. Can't secretly live with them. <laughs> no, I do love women. Uh, you know where I supposed to see hot chicks? Yoga classes. I stopped going to them. It's basically too many fucking rules. Get this. Apparently you can no longer sit in the back of a class with a towel over your lap just watching. <laughs> they call it undesirable behavior. Since when? I don't know one person that doesn't desire to see a nice ass in a pair of yoga pants. Am I right, ladies? Could you imagine this in a pair of Lululemons? There wouldn't be a dry seat in the house. <laughs> we have to swim out of here, fellas. <laughs> awful, awful joke. Awful. Uh, I like asses. So I like tits too. Cleavage, especially. Front row. <laughs> I'm super obvious when I'm looking at it, though. You know. Some guys use sunglasses or something, and they're stealthy about it. But I find that sunglasses, no matter how large the frame, I find they do nothing to hide my erections. <laughs> it's like a design flaw or something. They gotta fix it. So weird. Erections. Don't see my therapist about my erections. Apparently, I can no longer get hard with a woman unless she's really into me. I mean, she's gotta be like way into me. 
Or at the very least, it's got to be two knuckles deep. You guys have been amazing. Thanks a lot. 